And now it's time to take a formula and write the name of the compound based on that formula. The way the name works, the positive ion name is followed by the negative ion name. Please remember, if the metal has more than one charge listed, you put a Roman numeral after it to say which charge it is. If there's only one charge listed, then you don't require the use of a Roman numeral. Li is called lithium. Lithium only has one charge listed, therefore it doesn't need a Roman numeral. O is oxide. NH4 is called ammonium. P is phosphorus, becomes phosphide. CA is called calcium. Calcium only has one charge listed on the periodic table, therefore it does not need a Roman numeral. CO3 is called carbonate, calcium carbonate. Cu is called copper. Copper has two charges listed on the periodic table. We need to determine whether we're dealing with the plus one copper ion or the plus two copper ion. Because there's a two here and nitrate has a minus one charge, since there's two nitrates, two times minus one is minus two, which means copper must be plus two. And there's only one copper ion, that copper is the plus two version. If it had been copper one, we wouldn't have put a two down here. It would have canceled itself out one to one. This is copper two, NO3 is called nitrate. This is also copper nitrate. We already said that nitrate was minus one. What well, cancels out one to one? A plus one. It takes one plus one to cancel out one minus one. This is copper one nitrate. K is potassium. Potassium has only one charge on the periodic table. Therefore, it does not need a Roman numeral. ClO4 is called perchlorate. Potassium perchlorate. Na is called sodium. Na has only one charge listed on the periodic table, therefore it does not need a Roman numeral. S is sulfur, sulfide, sodium sulfide. Ni is called nickel. Nickel can either be plus two or plus three, so we have to determine which of those two charges we're dealing with in this compound. So this can be plus two, or plus three. SO3 has a charge of minus two. Look how nicely the charges cross over. Two to two, three to three. Three times minus two is minus six. Two times plus three is plus six. This is nickel three. And SO3 is called sulfite. Nickel three, sulfite. PB is called lead. Lead has plus two and plus four charges that are possible. We need to determine whether it's plus two or plus four. Since it's canceling out CO3 one to one, whatever the negative charge of CO3 is, that's what the charge of PB will be. For example, if CO3 is minus four, that means the lead will be plus four. If CO3 is minus two, the PB will be plus two. Let's find out. CO3 is minus two. Therefore, it's lead two, and CO3 is called carbonate. This is also lead carbonate. The difference is that here there are two carbonates. Now we already know that carbonate is minus two. Two of them would be a total of minus four. What well, cancels out a minus four? A plus four. Lead four carbonate. Al is called aluminum. Aluminum only has one charge on the periodic table. Therefore, it doesn't need a Roman numeral. O is called oxygen, becomes oxide. Aluminum oxide. AG is called silver. Silver has only one charge on the periodic table, therefore it does not need a Roman numeral. CL is chlorine, becomes chloride. 
And that is how you find the name of a compound given its ionic formula. One thing additionally, if the formula contains only two elements, it's called a binary formula, binary. If it contains three or more elements, nitrogen, hydrogen, phosphorus, calcium, carbon, and oxygen, copper, nitrogen, and oxygen, copper, nitrogen, and oxygen, it's called a ternary compound. Potassium, chlorine, and oxygen, ternary. Sodium and sulfide, binary. Nickel, sulfur, and oxygen, ternary. Lead, carbon, and oxygen, ternary. Lead, carbon, and oxygen, ternary. Aluminum and oxygen, binary. Silver and chlorine, binary. 